What's up guys, Drake here. First of all, all the best for the season. Merry Christmas, compliments of the season. Give all your loved ones a big hug and uh, all the best for the, well, Merry Christmas guys. Now, let's get started with Beast Mastery. Um, this is a complete guide. Why do we play Beast Mastery? Well, there's one simple reason, because they burst real hard and they explode things. So Beast Mastery is kind of like a Fury Warrior in Hunter. Page 4.3, there's a couple of good perks, but now come along with us and let's find a way to make these Hunters hit a lot harder. And well, you can figure out, I'll show you guys exactly how I play mine, and uh, you guys might get some good hints of it, maybe not. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy, learn something. Let's get started with the specs. Right guys, there is two builds. The one of them is the most popular builds anyway. One of them branches off into Marksman and the other one into the Survival Tree. The Marksman one has got a lot more DPS and uh, take a look at this. Okay, that was a healthy amount of damage in a very short amount of time. Now let's take a look at almost exactly the same scene with the survivable spec and what you can expect from that. Right, so the survivability has got a lot less DPS than the marks. So use the marks one if you want in right in battlegrounds, and the survivability one is almost very important in arenas. I use it in all the arenas. Um, why? Because it's got the CCs and it gives you a lot more stam. You get 15% more stam if you go down the survival tree, and you also get um, a four-second stun with your snake and your frost trap, which is um, quite very important in a CC situation where you gotta get away from somebody. Right, glyphs. As of patch 4.3, there's one huge change that I have incorporated into mine, and those are put in the glyph of Raptor Strike. Um, because of the new bursts, you're gonna find yourself a lot closer in um, combat with a lot more melee, and uh, your kiting will be a little more limited than before. So the Raptor Strike helps a lot. Um, it reduces your damage taken by 20% um, for five seconds, so yeah. When somebody charges you, hit them with a Raptor Strike and at least get less damage from him. The next step. Right guys, now for gearing. Um, okay, now your stats for your gear. It's very important that your hit is at 5%. Um, 195 minimum spell penetration. After that, as much agility as you can. Crit comes after that, mastery after that, and haste is the last one. So that's the way you should actually coordinate your specking and reforging. Remember, I've got 210 spell penetration. It is very important to have this. And uh, this is why we can actually blow things up in battlegrounds or in arenas. Thanks to that spell pen. Right, guys. Pets. Which pet should we have? Well, okay. Now, cunning and ferocity pets will yield the most damage out of the three um, trees. Um, ferocities pull ahead in damage, but they're all sacrifice buff will help in many situations. Okay. My favorite, of course, is the spirit beast. While its healing is mediocre at best, it is the only um, means of healing outside of spirit bond that um, beast mastery hunters can have. So, yep, I roll. Beast Mastery Hunter, always with a Spirit Beast. There's another tutorial on um, this channel. You're welcome to check it out and see how to find one if you haven't got one, but I'm pretty sure we've all got Spirit Beast by now as BM Hunters. So, next step. Shot rotation. Right, your primary shot is Arcane Shot, followed by, very closely, Kill Command. This is in Aspect of the Hawk. Um, always have Serpent Sting on your target and... Uh, Word of Venom, if you want to, it reduces the healing of the target. Also very important, and it did get a, quite a cool buff. Now, once you're in Aspect of the Fox, there's only one shot there, Cobra Shot. Use that one to cause the damage, and at the same time, it replenishes Serpent Sting for us BM Hunters. So, those are the simple shots. 
we've got a lot of sissing shots which we're going to go into now close combat always use um scatter shot and further away concussive shot which is going to slow the target down don't forget tranquility which will remove a lot of spells um one spell or enrage effect off the target which is also very helpful it removes the wings of paladins which is damn good and uh yeah so keep on throwing a couple of those out there as well when you want to um that's basically all the, the shots we've actually got as beast mastery hunters of course then the last one which is kill um, kill shot which of course when it's ready and the target is down to 20 percent you're definitely going to use that and uh if you've glyphed for it you can use it twice which is extra bonus because most of the times when you shoot the target the first time won't die but the second time you might better have a better option it's a bit buggy but uh, it still does proc quite a few times so quite kind of a cool thing right the macro section what macros do we use um there's a couple the first one is of course our one shot burst macro and this one is very painful for the opponent that macro looks like this i also have a target select macro now this macro will select the target it puts me in aspect of the hawk and it also puts hunter's mark on the target which is kind of cool and it also sends my pet on to attacking him so right that's the second macro and this one looks like this the third macro oh yeah you guys can also find them in the descriptions below the third macro is one that hunters cannot do without and that of course is your wing clip disengage macro this one here we use when um we in close combat and uh one button straight away we disengage and at the same time we hit the opponent with a wing with a wing clip which is going to slow them down and um, also a very awesome good macro and uh that one is over there um we also have the third well another one is the kill shot macro now this macro all it actually does is cancel all of your auras and uh it basically just gets you ready to shoot kill shot instantaneously when you need it this is an invaluable macro and it honestly helps a lot so um right that's this one over here that i use and i think that's about all the macros oh no no there's one last one and that of course is your cobra shot macro um now the cobra shot macro is what i use to actually put me into the stance of the cobra uh, of the aspect of the fox and then shoot the cobra shot and uh right now that's definitely all the macros i actually use no there's another one the heal macro okay we've got the heal macro it calls for heals of the beast at the same time you can also macro it to your partner in arenas so therefore you can actually heal him if you need some small heals of the spirit beast um if the spirit man hasn't been used yet um it's might get you out of a very tight situation right now that is all the macros we use right now how do we put all of this together all right so i'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how we're going to use all of these um, things we've just learned in this video right we're going to start off straight away with macro number one which is going to be um setting hunter's mark on him it's going to select target and attack uh, cause your pet to actually attack the target right away once you've pushed macro number one you push macro number two which is going to enrage you and you start spamming arcane shot two arcane shots by then your pet has gotten up to your target once it's gotten up to your target kill command then followed by a serpent sting then followed by a cane shot again and another cane shot maybe and then of course again another kill command depends on what if it's ready or not so that is your basic rotation uh, you keep on hitting those as hard as you can until your focus is running out you can also throw in wood of venom if you want to now this is without any cc's this is just to get out as much dps as you can now w once your focus is finished um do not stop bursting be ready to push further you hit further and immediately you get a lot more focus back i think it's 50 percent focus and then you're going to continue bursting down with your normal rotation until that is up once that is up straight away hit the other macro which is going to put you into aspect of the hawk a a fox and then you're going to shoot your cobra uh, your, your normal um cobra shot which will replenish certain things so it's kind of cool keep that going until your focus is back up once your focus is back up hit the macro again which is your burst key if there's any cc's available it's going to use those and then straight away back into aspect of the hawk and then 
start spamming a cane shot and kill command again and keep on repeating this over and over again it's as simple as you get when your target's close to death of course hit the kill and <laughs> kill shot and uh, so forth um right guys now i've designed my style around mobility so um remember a couple of good hints always use tranquility shot when you want to um as well it helps a lot you've got a lot of ccing when the guys right up to you don't forget your um, scatter shot your concussive shots and the rest you got to meddle all of those into the whole scenario in the battleground and if you've got survival spec remember you can use your stunning um, your your traps to stun the opponents which will buy you a lot of time to be able to get away from them with your wing clip and disengage you'll be able to get away from them faint death also and last resort of course you're going to have to pop deterrence and um get yourself to a safe situation or just buy yourself a bit more time uh, that's about it guys um, I think that covers quite a bit of this guide I'm going to keep on making more guides but um, I think this is for the first one quite a bit of information and uh, I hope it's helped you guys out in some small way well if you guys are still here thank you for watching the vid and uh, once again Merry Christmas all the best for the season and uh, yeah, give those loved ones a big hug and have a very festive and a good um, Merry Christmas. From Drax to you guys, um, over and out.